Hello, welcome back to the Spider's Web. And uh, I'm doing an unboxing of something that I've had for a week now. Mansions of Madness, Call of the Wild expansion. Let's just get the wrapper off and have a nosy at what's inside. I've been so wanting to get into this. <laughs> Right, let's see how we go. Oops, there we are. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look on the back. And we have some flavour text at the top there. Hope we can read that. There we go. And it shows all the monsters. The new investigator figures, the cards, and this, that, and the other. We have the Mansions of Madness Rules of Play. Sorry, Mansions of Madness come with the Wild Rules of Play book, and on the other side we have the Investigator Guide, as always. Let's have a look at the Rules of Play parts first, and it gives you all the um, components. Breakdown of all the components. Um, Show you how to do various things, the way the board's marked out, the map tiles, and everything else. Examples of clay, allies, um, and general things. And then we have <coughs> the investigator guide on the back. horror and one of these is actually a solo mission and I don't know which one it is ah it's this one but it says no keeper it's mission number five it says oops, the no keeper so we may have a bash at that at some point but we have a keeper guide here as well. Um, everything that needs the keeper needs to do to set up. I'm not going into any great detail over this because that will just spoil it for anybody else. We can have a, a close look at those before we go down to table cam and look at the uh, the monsters or the, the miniatures. So we have here River Rapids one and two. And we have the River Crossing 2, River Crossing 1 and a covered bridge. And a few tokens. These must be the Allies. <coughs> <coughs> oh, excuse me. Okay, next we have uh, another board which has the Mill Yard, the Sawmill and the Water Wheel. And on the side of it we have river bend one river bend two i forgot these are double sided so on this side we have the old mill and then if we turn it round this big tile here is the forest edge and the old forest going back to the first tile we looked at um, on the other side to it we have the burn yard and the burn and down here we have the outhouse and the dark path. Okay, okay. Next we have the pond. We have the old oak. And we have the scarecrow with a few other satanic looking um tokens. On the other side of that we have the cave bend, we have the dungeon cell, the torture chamber and the dungeon cave. That's all one tile that one. And now at the bottom here we have the campsite. On the 
On this one we have the Marshland tail and the what's that one? The pig pen. Which is this one down here, and then we get all the uh, hit points and monster tokens. On the other side we have the cave entrance here and here we have the ritual site with the sacrificial altar in the middle. And on the final tile we have the spruce grove, the hilltop, various other tokens that we will find out about as we come to play. I ain't going into detail on this I've said before. And then we have the old orchard with the abandoned shack in the middle. And here we have the rotted path here with the rotted porch. Okay, so that's the tiles. Okay, so first of all we have curds. We have plenty of these. <laughs> As always with fantasy flight games, we have a abundance of the little blazers. So these are the smaller ones. Okay, so we have delusion cards, which are these that have this back. Okay, and the oh gold. Camera over, and these will give. Um, they represent negative, negative mental instability of all our characters. Um, they're only used in one story and are described in the rules section of the investigator guide. So that's what these ones are. <coughs> Next we have trail cards. And that's this one. This sets with the compass on it. And these cards represent hidden locations and dangers. These cards are only used in story three. Okay. Next cards we have are the mania cards. These are the ones with the eyeball. And these cards represent the side effects brought about by traumatic mental harm. These cards are only used in story five. There we go, so there's some of the cards that we're using. Next we have the ally story cards, which are these ones. Um, these cards represent the rumours, information and events that investigators can reveal by talking to allies. So there we are. That's these cards. Okay. Okay. So I'm not, as I say, quite 100% of which ones these ones are. We've gone through them in a previous uh, <coughs> Oh dear, what was I saying? We've gone through them in a previous video when you unboxed the actual base game of Mansions of Madness. It doesn't give you a list of all the cars that's in these. But, uh, as I say, I'm not sure exactly what they all do. But we'll just have a quick skim through. Um, and these are what the investigation will probably uh, play on you as you're going through your quest, not the investigates, the keeper. Um, there we are. So we have these. 
and these are the uh, fighting cards I think, <coughs> battle cards, spell cards are they? Are they all spells? Yes, these are spell cards. And the fighting cards are different ones, aren't they? And then we have locked door cards. Um, as I say, I'm not, I can't remember exactly what they all are. Um, there's only one of these. It's one of the tentacles on, like a barricaded area. Puzzle or some form of obstruction. And then we have the cards that we use to when we're searching rooms. Which is on the equipment and uh, things in it. Okay, the next lot of cards we're going to be looking at. I've kept these ones separate because these are all to do with some of the ones that's found in this bag. These are the objective cards by the look of it. Yep, that's an objective. what these cards are. Next we have these ones which are somewhat slightly different. I don't remember seeing cards with this back on but <coughs> what they are various action cards so I think these are the ones that uh, the Keeper can play during uh, a turn to uh, make things a little unbearable for the, the investigators uh, so my throat is really really sore at the moment so. now these are the um, Mission time deck, I, I can't remember what they're called. Progress. This is the progress deck. Um, so for the different missions, you'll get a different deck. So that you would have to put foot to um, with a certain token on the or remove a certain token on the, and then you turn it over and see what's on the back. But as I say, don't want to do anything with those. As yet. I don't want to show everything off. And these are the fight cards. There's one deck for creatures. what they do. We have one deck for monsters, which are the green ones. And we have one deck for humanoid attackers, or human attackers rather. There we go. So that's those. <coughs> the final deck we have is these ones, these are the investigators. And allies. We have from um what do you call it? 
Come on. Uh, from Elder Sign we have Monterey Jack. We have Bob Jenkins. We have Amanda Sharp. We have Mandy Thompson. And now we have allies. We have Eric Colts, Karina Jones, Amy Pierce, Amy Pierce rather, Zebulon Wakeley, and the Dark Stranger. <clears throat> and to go along with those, we have some of these smaller cards, which are the um, on the stats and everything. So some of these you can pick and choose which one you want to play. Um, so you'd have different options of how you'd like to play the game with different stats, different uh, strengths and weaknesses. And you would have your starting um, equipment there as well. So there we are. That's all the cards sorted out for this game. What I'm going to try and do is put them up here, like so, and zoom in slightly so you can hopefully get to see them all together. Let's see if that will work better. There we are. There's all four investigators. <laughs> I'm sorry I just didn't seem to want to focus on them, but hopefully we'll have better luck with the um, with the monsters which are coming up next. Now that one seems to want to focus. Oh, there we have some more cultists. We have two cultists for that little character. We have two of those as well. We have two of these. she may be. We have this fella. It's Father Christmas. You know I'm going to be painting in red and black, don't you? <laughs> With a white beard. <laughs> And we have two of these. Weird looking things. So we have two. And then we have this fella. And tall, we have Great, the, one of the legs that holds it onto the uh, stand is bent. So we're going to have to sort that out. And this one comes with its own stand. Ta da! A face there, a face there. Oops. Take him off the stand. He's got a face there, a face there, a face there. He's got more faces than a British politician. <laughs> this is the Dirk Young.
And I think that is a Dunwich Horror. Yeah, it's a Dunwich Horror. So that's the Dunwich Horror. So that's the Dirk Young. These two are Night Gaunts. As I said earlier, these are cultists. Sorry, actually, the Dirt Druids. I think these are the Child, child of the Goats, I may be wrong. I haven't got the uh, thing it's handy now that's on the boxes. And these, I think, are uh, goat spawns. Then again, these could be the child of the goats. You never know. We'll find out. And <coughs> this guy must be a wizard. So, there you go. Um, let me see if I can just find... There we are. See what we can find. Okay. Um, right, so I was, it was the wrong way around. These are the goat spawn. And these two are child of the goat. Okay, so I'm sorry it's being blurred. Um, so I think it's down to the lighting. Oh, I saw the lighting out of. I'm trying to have a sort out and a clear up. But um, yeah, so that's Call of the Wild expansion for Mansions of Madness. I said, if somebody could please let me know exactly what I could do with the cards and um, whether I mix them all in together as one deck or whether um, I need to keep them separate for the uh, expansions I will, be, I will be eternally grateful because I've not a clue I want to mix them all up but I don't know whether I should it's, yeah, right it's so that's things. it from me um, until next time as always take care, God bless and bye for now <laughs>